first of all, we need to talk about a little bit of terminology, okay? Um, I'm going to set up this problem. M plus 1 is what we call the divisor. Okay, it is what is being divided into. Now, this is not a square root. This is the good old-fashioned dog house from elementary school when you were dividing. Okay, um, 10m cubed plus 4m squared plus 2m plus 8. Okay, this is the dividend. What is being divided? And then your result goes on the top, and that's what we call the quotient. And then sometimes we have a remainder here on the outside. And we'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, a few things to note. If your dividend or your divisor are missing powers, what I mean by that is, say for example, that 4m squared was not there, we would need to put a placeholder there. We would need to put a 0m squared in its place just to keep things neat and organized the way it needs to go. Okay? So, are we good with the vocabulary and the setup? All right, step number one, we divide the first term of the dividend, in this case that would be 10m cubed, by the first term of the divisor. You may want to do this kind of over on the margin of your paper. Um, so in this case, when we divide that, what do we do when we divide things that have exponents? We subtract, so that leaves us with 10m squared. That is the first term that is going to go on top of our problem here. Okay, so, so that you don't have to write this problem over and over and over again, I would write the steps out to the side, okay, um, so that you don't have to keep rewriting it, because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to copy this, or I'm going to be right writing it over and over and over again. Okay, so that is going to go, and to keep things organized, line it up over the term that has the exponent of 2. Okay, put the 10m squared over the 4m squared. Step 2 says multiply that result, the 10m squared, by both terms of the divisor, and then we're going to subtract. So 10m squared times m is 10m cubed. 10m times 1 is plus 10m squared. I think I forgot to say the squared there a second ago. Okay, this is just like good old fashioned long division. I'll give you a second to catch up. Now, there are two ways of looking at the subtraction, okay? Either you look at it as straight up, I'm going to subtract, or you can change your signs and add, okay? Some people prefer to look at it as subtraction. Some people prefer to look at it as change my signs and add. Whichever one works for you, I don't care. Just be careful, okay? The first term should cancel. That's the whole purpose, okay? 10 minus 10 is 0. 4 minus 10 is negative 6m squared. Bring down the rest of the problem. Bring down the 2m and the 8. Now, we kind of start over. We're going to divide the first term of the remaining polynomial. So now that we have this line right here in red, we're not concerned about the original dividend anymore. Okay? Now 
Now I'm looking at the first term of this, so negative 6 m squared, and I'm going to divide it by m. So that leaves us with negative 6m. Okay, that is going to go on top. Notice it lines up with the variable that has the same degree. Okay, and then we keep repeating those steps until we are finished. And we can't divide anymore. Yes, ma'am. Because you always you go you always divide by the first term of the divisor. Yep. Every time it's the first term of the divisor. Okay. So now we multiply. Negative six m times m is negative six m squared. Negative six m times one is negative six m. So negative 6 minus negative 6 is 0, because that's like adding 6. 2 minus negative 6 is 8m. Bring down the 8. Okay, and then we do have one more step. We can divide now 8m by m. Okay, it's always the first term of what you have left divided by the first term of the divisor. So that's 8, so we've got plus 8 here on the end. And when we multiply, we've got 8m plus 8. Well, notice that's the exact same expression, so when we subtract, we're going to get 0. So there is no remainder in this case. Yes. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we did. Briefly. I might be getting things confused. I thought we, we didn't. Okay. I could be wrong. We did. I don't know. Anyways. Okay, so really what we have done here is we... This, Long division is a way to rewrite this expression. So what this says is that 10m cubed plus 4m squared plus 2m plus 8 is equal to, it actually factors. Because there's no remainder, it actually factors. And this is how, it, now we wouldn't be able to factor, uh, yeah, that wouldn't factor by grouping. Um, we wouldn't be able to factor that by our methods, but since they asked us to divide it and we got that result, then it's safe to say that m plus 1 times 10m squared minus 6m plus 8 gives you 10m cubed plus 4m squared plus 2m plus 8. Now that's not what we're actually going to do with it, but I did want to point out that that's what it really is. Okay? Um, that's what this result like when you divide 8 by 4 and you get 2, that means 2 times 4 is 8. Okay? Um, or if we had done this and we got a remainder, say for example we divide 20 by 8. 8 goes into 20 two times with 4 left over. Um, so what is 20 divided by 8 as a Decimal. 20 over 8 is 2.5. Okay, well, guess what? That's 2 plus 4 over 8. Okay, it went in two times and had 4 left over. 2 plus 4 over what you divide by. That'll mean something in a second. Trying to draw it over. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so there was no remainder in this case, which is fine. Not a big deal. Uh, this is the result. Let's look at one that does have a remainder. All right, let's divide 8m cubed minus 14m squared plus 1. We're going to divide that by 4m 
Now, here's an example of our dividend missing a term. In this case, it's missing the M. So I'm going to put a zero M there to hold its place. Now, if you don't put that, is it the end of the world? No, but chances are things will kind of get a little jumbled at some point in time. So it is, it is important that you put it there just to, to help prevent errors. Okay, so we begin, begin by dividing the first term of the polynomial by the first term of the divisor. So 8m cubed divided by 4m. 8 over 4 is 2, m cubed over m is m squared. So 2m squared goes on top. We multiply that by the entire divisor. So 2m squared times 4m is 8m cubed. That should be the exact same term. 2m squared times positive 1 is plus 2m squared. I'm just going to look at it as subtraction. 8 minus 8 is 0. Negative 14 minus 2 is negative 16. You keep the m squared. Okay, The m squared doesn't go away. We're just subtracting the coefficients. Bring down the 0 and the 1. 0 m plus 1. Okay. All right now we take the next term, the negative 16m squared, and divide it by 4m. So we get negative 4m as the result. So that goes on top. Multiply, negative 4 times positive 4 is negative 16. m squared, negative 4m plus 1, or times 1, is minus 4m. Subtract, first term cancels. 0 minus a negative 4 is positive 4m. And then last one, 4m divided by 4m is 1. Got plus 1 on the end. Multiply. We get the exact same expression our remainder is zero.